Hi friends, this is Becky Lewis in Central Indiana, and uh, this is regarding the what the heck object, the is this the Nibiru, um, I just call it the Alabama object for right now. Um, friends, I am going to have a video coming with the pictures and doing some analysis uh, frame by frame showing what this object shows for all those people who called it uh, campfire and stuff like that. Friends, I do understand the confusion in how this video was put together. I, I played the first part of it in the first place. Uh, I want to show you. I just want to go through real quick to, to, to clarify some stuff here, okay? This first part, um, and yes, I did cut out the very beginning of it because it was a long process of me going, what? What the heck? What is this? Going through that over and over. So I just I cut it in at my last what? And then I ran to go get Paula. Uh, well, tried to. And so this object was obviously not still in focus, okay? So for all that time, I let this sit here on this object. It either never was in focus or it possibly turned now that right there i just want to tell people that flash right there that you saw that darkened flash was me walking in front of the camera because i didn't know where it was it was pitch black out okay i walked in front of the camera looking for the camera and then at that point is when i came back in and i started talking some more um and and explaining that i couldn't get all the way okay this this is the one capture the first capture okay and then when I turned it off I turned it off of the video to take a couple snapshots and then when I came back uh, from from doing the snapshots because this is what I got once I had got it in focus and was taking snapshots I freaked friends I was like oh my gosh and so I turned on the video and this then is what I got and then later when I turned it off and came back in I got it as this okay uh, it's the same exact object you can even still see the outer edges there I hope you can see my cursor you can still see the outer edges and the the all this just circular this the stuff that's all around whatever this is okay and so then I turned that off and came back with a refocus and got this again okay so this is just to clarify some stuff and I'm, I'm trying to tell you friends I don't have time to do this video right now of the of the pictures and all that and I'm so sorry that I can't get to hardly anything for comments um, I have a cat that's in the process of dying my 17 year old precious kitty Gemini so she's literally in the process of of her last days and even moments uh, hours right now so I will get to this video as quickly as I can with the analysis and in the meantime all those debunkers and stuff and people out there if you want to do your debunking at least do it honestly you do a frame by frame I'm friends I will show you I will show you and Paula Gilly already has on her channel videos that show this exact same area and in fact if you watched the whole video you saw that I zoomed all the way out more than once and showed that it was just a tiny point of light in the sky and no you couldn't see it with sky because it was pitch black pitch black but if you go to Paula's channel and and open up most any of her videos even her most recent one that she posted from when from when I was there with her is that same area friends and you can see that that there is no hill there there's nobody that could have had a campfire it was a point of light in the sky my husband even came out and confirmed what I was looking at and he had his own reaction which he never even says what the hell and that was his reaction what the hell and now friends I had gone in and woken him up so it was like I don't know like 2 30 in the morning or something like that so he was like still dazed coming out there and when he looked in there and saw that after I pointed in the sky at what I was looking at uh, that was his reaction 
So friends, you can say whatever you want. If you think it looks like a campfire to you, then then I guess it's a campfire to you. But but you know, there's a lot more to this. So I'll get back as soon as I can and do this analysis, friends. Right now, my cat is more important to me. 17 years of my baby. And I, I, I'm not going to sacrifice the last bit of time with her to, to analyze this video. Because I know what I saw. I know what I filmed. I know what it was. I know it was up in the sky. And anybody that does know me and knows my videos knows I just call it like I see it, friends. And if I end up being wrong, I'll do a debunking video myself. If, if, if somebody can, can show me something else that this is. Okay, but in the meantime, friends, I have to go. I have a dearly, dearly precious loved one to attend to. So until I can get to this and, and to comments, friends, and I'll do what I can when I can. But for now, I'm going to be with my kitty until she passes. So much love to you all. And as I said before, hold tight to one another. Friends, the important things are inside of our hearts and in the hearts and minds of other people. Yes, this stuff is all important of what's out there, but we have to think about what these things mean to us in our own personal spirit, okay? Do what you can do to lift others and to be there for somebody and, and for animals and for nature. Whatever you can do to reach out, friends, adding love to the mix is our only option. Much love to you all. Bye for now.